Hi everyone, welcome to day 26 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the most asked data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. Question is you have an employee table with the columns employee ID, employee name, department, salary and manager ID. Now manager is also employee in the same table. Identify the employee who have a higher salary than their manager. So the data that we have in the table is employee ID, employee name, department, salary and the manager ID. Now you can see this manager ID itself is an employee ID. So for example, this employee which is Jane. So the manager is basically John, right? So similarly for this employee which is manager is John. Now for this employee which is David, manager is 4. So that means that is Emmy. What we need to find out basically the employee who has a salary which is higher than their basically the manager's uh, you know salary. Now we have only one table. So based on this manager ID, we need to get the manager salary. That means based on this ID based on this ID we need to get that employee salary now because that salary is going to be a manager salary now if this employee salary is basically greater than that salary that is how we can solve these questions now this is a very simple question so you can solve this question using a self join concept basically we need to join the same table with itself based on this manager ID and this employee ID so let's see first we need basically the employee details so I'm going to write down the details that I need so I need employee ID so I'm going to write down employee ID now employee ID then other than that I will need employee name employee name then I will need basically department department of that employee and I will also need basically the salary right salary of that employee and the managers ID so everything I'm getting from the first table which is the main table so manager ID now based on this managers ID based on this manager ID we can find the manager name isn't it so how you can find it so for example this employee which is David so manager ID is 4 now if I ask you what would be the manager name so you look for this manager ID 4 in the employee ID which is this one now you will say the manager name is Emily right so basically we are referencing the same table from another basically table I would say and that table we will basically use this ID to get the employee ID and based on the employee ID we will be returning the managers this employee name and that employee name is going to be a manager's name here right so basically if you have one more table with the same data from that table based on this ID based on this manager's ID you can match with the employee ID and you can get basically the employee name and the salary right so that is what I'm going to do so first let me write down all the things that I'm getting from this table which is called E now I'm going to name it called E so I'm saying that from the first table which is E I'm getting this employee ID I'm getting this employee name I'm getting this kind of department I'm getting this salary I'm getting this managers ID now I can simply go ahead and basically you know uh, print it now see based on basically all these things I'm getting from the first table right that is totally fine now what I need basically based on this managers ID I need the manager name right now I'm saying that there is one more table called employees from that table get me the manager name now manager name is basically the employee name so based on this ID look for the employee table and look for the employee ID and whatever the name is get me that name so what I'm doing is basically I will be joining the same table using inner join here so I'm saying inner join now I'm going to uh, call the same table here I'm going to call this table as M okay so I'm saying joining the same table with another same table okay so for example I'm just copying the data from another same table now I'm joining on what conditions I'm saying that on the first table I have managers ID so on this conditions I'm joining which is I'm saying M dot M dot managers ID let's see if I in case M dot manager ID from the first table I'm saying manager ID it's not M it's E so E dot managers ID on this managers ID look for this manager ID and based on this managers ID in the second table look for the employee ID so joining on basically this first table with the second table that is M and in M table basically I'm joining on the employee ID now I hope you understood if I have one more table here in that table basically I have the same data right so I am looking for this manager ID in this employee ID column because they are same now based on the employee ID wherever it's matching like for this uh, you know kind of managers which is four employee ID is four and I'm getting the employee name which is Emily and I'm getting their Emily salary here so I'm saying managers ID which I'm getting from the first table then I will be getting basically what is called uh, M dot manager name so that means going to be the employee name from the second table Okay. Now, other than that I am getting from the second table which is also the salary so salary now how I am getting this employee name right as I said that 
based on this manager's id basically this manager's id look for the second table and see which man which employee is belongs to this id for example if you look for the second table which is the same table then in that table you will look for who have this employee id which is four now you see the four which is having by emily right so you will basically return here the em employee name from the second table but i can save this uh, table name as call column name as like manager name okay this is fine now the salary i can save it call manager salary so i'm getting the same i'm getting basically the same based on this manager's id based on this manager's id i'm looking in the second table in the from the second table i'm basically checking who has this employee id and i'm basically getting that employee salary and the name so these are the things basically i'm doing here now if i run this query it's going to basically return me all the data this is fine so i'm getting everything now i need to solve my questions now the question says is very simple identify the employees who have higher salary than their managers now you see we have basically kind of created one table with basically multiple columns so the columns are we have now salary of this employee and the salary on the name of their managers i, I name and their manager salary now you see this employee has 55000 salary the manager has 50000 salary so that means this is the employee that we want right now i can use a simple condition to say that if the employee salary is greater than this manager salary then i want that a records right so i can simply use a where conditions to say here that if this managers if this employee salary so that means if this uh, salary that means going to be is this one right if this salary greater than this salary which is going to be manager's uh, salary right so greater than i can say greater than manager salary now if i just run this query it's going to basically give us the you know so i am going to use this reference i cannot use the alias here so i'm going to say manager salary m salary okay because this is not actual column so i will be getting error so i'm saying if this employee salary is greater than the manager salary from my table now you see i am getting five records all the five employee has this salary which is higher than their manager salary now you see this employee which is basically uh, michael so michael has 60000 salary and the manager which is john basically manager id is 1 so john has salary which is 50000 now the second or third you can see robert so robert has 75000 salary the manager is basically employee id 6 now that is sarah so sarah is basically getting 70000 salary so this is how guys we have solved this questions today now i have a quick sql challenge for you so let me just show you the challenge questions so the challenge is again a really really uh, important question this is also most asked interview questions so do solve these questions and uh, let your answer in the comment box so this is the question question says find all the employee who has salary that is greater than the average salary now you can download this data by going into video descriptions and i'm going to add my github link so download the data copy paste into your basically you know pg admin 4 or mysql create the table this data basically create the table then solve these questions and you will have some basic idea then try to solve this challenge questions and you can let me know your answer that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do like the video and subscribe to my channel have a good day see you tomorrow